light hovers among the trees. A peach life, round, whole, no longer dependent on objects in this world. Itself a body, right. A wash light touches down today, gently, like a parachutist on fresh turned earth. Soil, belly up, welcomes the advance of seed life. Furrows, each lip and valley of moist darkness shines. The world suspended in the clarity of affection, a body that loves nothing. Sun tossing spangles off the water, a moment of filling to overflowing, my still body be all dance, all silent wildness, a whistling wail of joy within for no reason. Inexplicably, I find a shallow puddle of light in the middle of the woods. I walk into it, tentatively, my bare feet turning to gold, and then my knees brighten like daffodils. I can taste the light. My eyes fail as if staring into the sun. Drowning, I do not cry out for help. It is said that when light strides out of the mirror and curses us, who bow to its rivulets flowing down old stone walls, the end is near. Once there was a man who lived inside a rock. He loved the dark like a brother, knew silence as intimately as a woman. But one day, he discovered song, raising his voice higher than mountains he had never seen until his house cracked open. And like crystals, he danced light into existence. And then the sun fell in drops, I swear, that clung to branches and hung like lemons. And don't deny it, you've entered the sun and exited, eyes stuck to your thighs. But now, believe it or not, I hear the sun clanging, find myself in a luminous bell. Sun up, river of radiance rushing down our lane cascades at its end into a maple tree. It is exactly 7.42 on a late October morning when we welcome our star. It's light transforming thousands of cold leaves into the backs of salmon, leaping upstream in unknown mountains where sun will sink beyond us. She swivels only the head with our passing, quickly nods to lick herself, following through with the tongue. Cat in a country where sunlight is a kind of flesh, where you only want to follow through with your tongue. There is a certain slant of light in the woods between two upright trees that appears with winter, come from nowhere, passing to nowhere, neither approaching me now nor retreating, but simply stand outside time, not being made by mind, yet figure of my mind. The way light assembles another afternoon. Inside its own day may or may not be dangerous. My bones sigh with brightness as if all happened. Fountaining gratitude, geyser of thankfulness to nothing, no one. In that moment of daylight, pouring down on me, who has no words.
a shine to rise this morning over the snowy field given by night. Early morning, yellow verticals of morning stand shoulder to shoulder with black trunks of bare trees. The fence of alternating arms become a phalanx advancing toward me, who is the unnamed source, naming relationship with life as if it could be ever named. I, who plead guilty, having held light in one hand and shadow in the other, yes, outed the upright light warring against trust in our own rightness. Not dawn, not day, a saffron glow settled over the woods. The bodiless light, a palpable presence in the crowns of the trees, expecting the sky. It lingers as if wanting to speak to us, then gone. When I say to the morning window, that is my favorite tree, I say, in this season, in this day, in this moment, that is my, while within this confessing minute, one comma stroke, morning takes another step, that, now, new tree taken place before me, leaves of new sheen, new patina, as if when I say that is my I am organ of morning sun. Strange, we have learned to live with an immortal Neither arrogant, advancing through the trees, nor humble, resting in twilight's magic hour. This little light of mine, I hear her singing as she appears out of the woods, into this flower dawn. Where, oh, where have you been, my darling, my night? I can hear the trees talking to each other as I walk through the woods. Perhaps one died recently. The big pack of sun on my back is heavy. It makes me happy. I want to feed it to the trees, my friends, who do appreciate it, or any other light eater I meet on this old, worn path to the unborn. Light exiled never slinks back into the sun, giving life to the stone, the stone never asking. So what, you say? I say, all's at stake. Drop your shades. Take at face value the syllogisms of light. Seven notes of sun, sound from the flower garden, as a crow flashes by that black packet of night. They walk silently with me, which I feared would bore you while waiting for them to stir the spacious distance until time nods, and their orchestra plays in the chamber of your brain, and you see, see, forest of green pine under cyan sky. Intact after long travel, light collides with a leaf that strikes a gleam into my eye. Or I turn onto the avenue, slapped by a flash from a ninth story window. I turn fragile in this dance of sunlight as if with waves of grain or with pebbles in the waves smashing our shores, my body unboned by the one life. Late day, not twilight, sun undecided outside my window, simply settled in the street, a great 
gentle beast of amber air. At times my shadow shrinks like the ache for a world, pretending to be another's. I duck in a doorway, but shadow just turns up nowhere, like a kid brother. All night it hides under my bed, then at sunrise mocks me with its long legs. 